So, we, can we start the video? Lee, Lee loves this amp so much that he won't let me start the video. <laughs> It's true. It's true. I've stolen the guitar, <laughs> and uh, I think this is this is definitely where I'm. <laughs> harmonic thing going on isn't there yeah i must admit i'm kind of uh, i love this amplifier it's kind of crazy as well because it's um orange have got this whole kind of family of like terror style amplifiers and although this perhaps is a bit of a departure from the the lunchbox looking thing you know it does look like a shrunk down version of one of the the, the big uh, orange amplifiers it is essentially kind of using that terror kind of circuit and terror kind of output stage with the twin 15 and 7 watt things and it's just another flavor of that amplifier it's another voiced version it's a of more that. vintage version yeah. and it's got the effects loop built in so it's really useful this properly. Hi, I'm the captain. And I'm Chappers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we basically just shot a video of a brand new uh, amplifier from Orange called the Jim Root uh, Signature. And at the same time, they've also launched this super cool OR15. So we're basically using the Jim Root cab, which is just a closed back kind of um, I don't actually know that it's that different spec to any of the other orange, cam uh, orange cabs apart from his little logo in the corner. So uh, this is pretty much the same cab as a, as a regular 212 uh, orange. Uh, but it's the head is, is what's cool and what's different here. So um, anyway, I will pass you over to Mr. Chappers, I think, to play some on this because uh, I know he's the superstar and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just the fluffer. <laughs> Do you want the Les Paul? Yeah, I might as well have a go on the Les Paul I think Paul we should first. try it. I'll go Les Paul SG. And yeah, and then we'll try strat. strats and everything. Yeah, yeah. So, um, kind of if you don't know the basic idea behind this sort of terror setup by now, where have you been for the last five years? Um, so, this is again using the picks only kind of uh, circuit on the top here. So we've got volume, bass, middle and treble. Oh, no, it's not treble, middle and bass. Uh, volume, two modes, 15 or 7 watts and an effects loop. But as Chaffers was saying, this is definitely uh, voiced, you know, around that kind of um, more typical kind of vintage orange sound. So, um, how do you want to start this off, Rob? I want to start with the same tone that you had because that looked like an awful lot of fun. Okay, well let's just do it. So I'm in the 15 watt mode with all the, actually all the EQ just literally at 12 o'clock and the gain Where's the gain? Can't see. That's your gain right there. You got it off. I apologise. Where's the volume then? That's your volume there. Cool. Right. So my gain was. Some sounds you get that just give you an instant, like, I don't know, it's a weird kind of like... It's the way the harmonics are lining up in a specific way, and it works really well with the humbucker guitars, but you get an interesting mm. 
arrangement of the harmonics in the chords, specifically in the chords. Like I can show it's you. It's primal that. though. I feel like a caveman the first time he probably heard music, and I was sort of like, oh, I like that. Oh, I just want to <laughs> knock out a woman and drag her past a radiator. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me again, I'll show you some chords with some harmonics in them. Guttural, isn't it? That's it, what is. it is. It's 15 or 7 watts. It's got an effects loop. It's got all the gain you need. Uh, if you really want more gain for like a lead boost, you could put a pedal through the front, but yeah. I don't think you need to if you've got good humbuckers. Again, you can back it off and get some good clean tones, but we'll bring up the volume and just very little tiny bit of that um, that gainy goodness. I'll put it in the middle. Um, hop, turn all that gain off and then just bring a little tiny oh, bit in. Yeah. Mean. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to understand because I heard it when you first had the when you were first playing the Dark Terror and we did that Terror lineup because I, I must admit Orange had I wouldn't say passed me by but I always kind of thought to myself do you know what they're only really as famous as they are because they're orange and it's a novelty th sort of thing. What Tom foolery is that? I know and it and I must admit and of course because they're They've never really gone for that channel changing thing. It's always just been a kind of a straight up plug in and go kind of thing. Maybe it's passed me by, but the, I, I tell you, last 12 months or so, major kind of conversion for me. And particularly, I sort of, I love the bass end, the instant kind of bass end that you get from this, but yeah. with tight gain, mm. you know, not, not like, um, you know, some of the... Not loose and wet. Yeah, not like kind of the fendery, bluesy kind, you know, where, it's, where the gain's nice up to a point, but then it, it struggles to go beyond yeah. that. That's kind of an orange for every occasion, isn't there? If you're a metal dude, you go for the rocker verb kind of side. Mm. If you're not, you go for the OR side. You know? I know who would like this. Who? The man from Del Monte. He said yes! He said yes! <laughs> <laughs>
So I hope you like the tones that we got out of this uh, damn fine OR15. These are definitely going to be for sale in Andertons right now. Uh, they're going to cost you about £450. Uh, and if you want to find out more details, you should either go to the Andertons website or come to the store and plug one in yourself. Mm. Mm. Plug in some OR15 love. That's just the watts. noise. That's, that's just the Homer. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. No, that could be loud enough for a gig, isn't it? 15. Yes, it's actually, to be honest with you, sitting this close to it for this long, for my, can't even speak, that's what happens, that's how loud it is. It overrides your entire neurosystem and disables your speech function. <laughs> but it no, enables your rock function. It does. You can definitely gig with this, no problem at all. Um, but yeah, come here for yourself at Anderton's, uh, or just buy one. Take yes. a risk. Yes, do that. Take a risk. <laughs> Financially, for Lee. <laughs> I've been Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. <laughs>